Restoring classic cars is a hobby everyone has heard of. You may even have a restored piece of antique furniture in your home right now. The key, though, is getting the details just right, and that even extends to tractor restoration. John Torpy reports how one family is turning their love of classic farming equipment into a family affair. On the outskirts of Dixon, Iowa, the Miller family farm is home to an exceptional treasure of tractors. It began as most tractor hobbies start. In a way to honor his father, Kevin Miller began restoring the family machines. Little did he know the love of restoring would spread like wildfire through his children, producing a collection of unmatched, one-of-a-kind tractors fueled by friendly sibling rivalry. Kevin Miller's love of tractors started before he could say the word. Watching his father work on these mechanized beasts in his workshop, his eye was on the prized Oliver 88, the iron pen that started writing the Miller's agricultural story. As a small child, I loved tractors, and I pestered my parents for years. When can I drive that Oliver 88 by myself? And I finally got an answer that I could start driving the tractor when I turned 10. And I just could not wait. It, it, was, it was amazing, you know. I'm big enough to drive it, and I love driving it. When Miller entered 4-H, he was firmly set on restoring his first tractor. One tractor turned into three in a short period of time, but after those were done, his passion for restoring and collecting faded. One tractor was put to work on the farm, the other two were parked in a shed and forgotten. Eventually, he sold all three. While Miller's passion for restoration faded, it did not fade away completely. With the birth of his son, the drive to fix old tractors fired right back up. When I had my first son born and then he grew up to be in 4-H age, I started him on it. I said, I, as, because I loved it. And so he started it and did one tractor and, and he liked it. So then that progressed to the next one. And, and my daughter thought she was missing out on something. And so she got a tractor and pretty soon it was a family affair. Fast forward a few years and Miller is very proud of his tractor restoring trifecta. His love of the hobby is reflected in his daughter Megan and sons Jacob and Patrick. Through grueling hours in the shop, all three have found their favorite make and model of tractor. Patrick is a mini man favoring the energy yellow painted machines that are known for their reliability. This is Paragold number two technically. There is um, five colors that Minneapolis Mowing would have used. This would be the second one, Paragold number two. Paragold number one was only used a couple years in the late 30s, if I remember right. Paragold number three is a lot orangier than that. For Megan, her diverse restoration resume is long, but when asked about her favorite tractor color, she is a daddy's girl. My dad and I both favor red. I started out with a 1066 for my first tractor as an international, and then I moved to a 1566. And then um, for my last project as a 21-year-old FFA, I wanted to do the 1456. That was like my dream tractor all over the years, but we couldn't find one, and or it was too far away or whatever. But my dad made sure to get me the tractor that I wanted for my last year. It was pretty cool to get that tractor. And I got reserve grand champion at the Iowa State Fair with that one, and that was the highest award that I had gotten by myself on a tractor ever. Kevin noticed his daughter's desire to be working with the boys at an early age. At the beginning of her restoration career, I'll put it that way, she restored my dad's Oliver and a John Deere, and she did a case with her brother. But she was always the international girl. You know, as she got on after a couple years, she just loved the internationals. Her favorite color's red, like mine. And so she wanted a red tractor, and I think she liked the, the gold contrast with the red. So she was in it. We always call her the international girl, and I think it was just that gold contrast she liked so well, and that's why she wanted one. They paint the whole hood gold, and then when they 
wanted to actually sell them, they'd send them back to the factory and repaint the outside red, but leave the underside gold. So that's how you know you got a gold demonstrator. So these three tractors are all gold. For Jacob, green is the color of his hobby, but it has nothing to do with antlers. And like his older siblings, perfection is the key. Not just the tractor, but every part of its story as well. Well, this one is a 1550 high crop diesel. Um, there was not many made of them because it's such a small tractor. And 1550 and 1555 diesels as it is are really hard to find. And um, well, what's really unique about this one is the high crop factor is that it's a row crop, but it's, it, it has a lift kit on it. Um, so it has, I call them drops on the back. So a chain goes around to the bottom, which hooks up to a different axle, which boosts the tractor up in the air. It also has a row crop front end, but it also has a back support on it, so then it can support the longer knees so it can sit higher in the air. So it's kind of a mixture between a high crop and the row crop front end together. Despite their differences in color preference, the tractor trifecta all agree that hunting down and finding the rare and unique machines is the best part of collecting. And the more rare, the better. It's a 1955 Heritage. Obviously, it's a little different from the rest of the Olivers you see around here because it's red, white, and blue. But this one is actually only one of one ever made. We got it home and it had five gallons of water in the engine. Um, it was, it looked like it got beat to death. I built it all the way back up, brought it to the state fair, competed with it, and luckily won uh, first in my class. So it means a lot to me. And what means a lot to Jacob means even more to an extremely proud father. Very proud of them. All these tractors in here, there's only a couple that they didn't do. The rest of them, yeah, Patrick, Megan, and Jacob all did, and they put a lot of a lot of sweat in them. And you know, I'm not saying there wasn't some bickering, but then they'll pull together and you know help support each other. And for them to do all that, it is quite gratifying for my wife and I, and just a family deal. Those are some pretty nice tractors, huh? Quite a building, quite an inventory. They do, you, have do, you, there. do you have a favorite kind of tractor? Uh, I lean towards those red ones, the yeah. uh, internationals, but uh -huh. I didn't think I saw any Alice Chalmers. They started disappearing about 85, late mm -hmm. 80s, but uh, I don't know. they I, were I, orange. I, I guess I just love a love a good John Deere, like like the green ones. So oh yeah, that's what yeah. I like. Well. Yeah.